Well, greetings, YouTube. Welcome. You're with Got That Fun. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to opine a little bit about some of my feelings on the subject of infidelity. This has been prompted by the recent Ashley Madison scandal. Now, if you don't know what that is, or if you've come to this video, you know, long after the fact, I should explain what the Ashley Madison affair is. Ashley Madison is the name of a dating website whose existence was to hook up married people with other married people and recently uh, some hackers hacked into their database and released the usernames of everybody who was using the site to cheat on their spouse this goes around the world and spans many countries and I think I'm right in recalling the number of people whose names have been released is you know in the millions so it's it's a pretty big big deal and uh, I'm not going to go off on all the tangents I could go off on um, about you know the the ethics of the hack or you know why Ashley Madison deserves to be sued out of existence because I, that's what I think should happen uh, for their part in this whole problem but what I really wanted to talk about with this video was how disturbed I am how disappointed I am um, at how many people I've witnessed who are positively gleeful that uh, the people who are cheating on their spouses by using Assy Madison are now being found out by their partners and uh, their partners will therefore be in a position to you know divorce them if they want to or whatever and you know we are all welcome to have our own opinions this is mine um, I'm not trying to take your opinion away from you if you're happy that these people are getting busted. Well, I I don't I don't agree with that mentality at all. Because here's a few things I think you should consider. Um first of all, let me make clear, I don't think infidelity is okay. I don't think it's moral, for sure. And uh I I don't <laughs> I don't agree with it. I've been on all three sides. Of the infidelity triangle in my life at some point I've been cheated on by at least three of my partners that I know about for sure and probably two more that I have got a pretty strong hunch but I don't necessarily know um, I have been the guy that uh, your girlfriend was cheating with I've been that guy a couple times actually and once exactly once in my life I uh, had sex with someone who wasn't my partner and so I've been on all three sides of the triangle. The fact is that the side that has the preponderance of experience is the side where I've been cheated on. So I know exactly how it makes you feel when you get cheated on. I know it, uh, the things it makes you want to do. I know the, the, the things it can do to your self-esteem uh, and so forth. So it's not as if I'm unsympathetic to people who've been cheated on. And it's not as if I'm a serial cheater. I cheated one time. And that one time, I specifically did what I did to see if I'd regret it. And at the time, I calculated that if I did regret it, I'd have to tell my spouse and um, let her decide what to do. And if I didn't regret it, then I had to break up with her, which is what I did. So that doesn't excuse what I did. I dishonored my marriage. That's a fact. And I don't shrink from that basic ultimate fact um, but as you can see uh, I like everybody else who does something they know they shouldn't be doing uh, rationalized what I did it's human nature to do so and I think you will find that every single person who is uh, cheating on their partner rationalizes it in some way to themselves before they even seek out uh, an affair so again let me stress I don't think it's okay to have an affair I don't I don't think it's okay when I was the guy who your girlfriend was having an affair with I don't think that's okay either it's fucking shit it's a shit thing to do there's plenty of women in the world why do you gotta get someone else's you know it's, it's a shit thing to do I know it is I, I, I don't I don't I've never ever tried to say that it, these things are okay they're not okay but I've done them and so have you probably this is what pisses me off I mean I wish people would climb off their fucking sanctimonious high horses when it comes to discussing this issue all of the all of the jubilation that I've seen people have about 
the spouse is getting caught. I mean, how dare you assume that that's going to be good news to someone, that, that someone will be grateful to know. That is such a massive presumption. It begs, I just, seriously, I can't believe it. The first time I was cheated on, I was only 20 years old at the time, and I found out that my girlfriend had four boyfriends on the go. She wasn't just having affairs. Four of us, including me, thought she was our girlfriend. I didn't. I, I. I would have rather not known that. I would have. I would have rather that we just broke up and I did never knew. I would. That would have been better for me. I would have rather not known. Thanks very much for that. Yeah. That, uh, here's another thing. I want to tell you guys a story. Uh, you know, this is 100% true. I used to live in the smallest town in England. Uh, as a statistical fact, that was what it was. And if you've ever lived in a small town, um, you know that uh, everybody thinks they know everybody else's business. They, they, Everybody does know certain things about you, whether you've ever met them or not. They'll know probably your first name. They might know the street you live on. Uh, they probably will recognize your spouse, whether they're with you or not. Um, they probably know her first name. If you've got kids, they'll know their names. If you've got dogs, they'll know that. And the things that they, they don't know, they probably will make up in their head. And uh, some of those things might have some basis in truth, uh, you know, be based on things that they hear or whatever, which might have some basis in truth. But basically, small towns are people know each other's business. It's that simple. And in my small town, I, my wife and I were acquainted with this other couple called Brian and Sue. That wasn't their real name, but I'm protecting people's anonymity. And Brian and Sue were around about the same age as us in our mid forties. And, uh, you know, they, uh, my wife worked with Sue and, uh, Brian and Sue came over a few times. And whenever, whenever they came over, um, uh, they were always very sort of touchy feely tactile with each other. They looked in each other in each other's eyes all the time. Like they adored each other and they had every, they certainly looked like a happy couple by any definition. And it didn't to me anyway, seem in any way disingenuous. I didn't get that feeling that people are putting on a show for, for company. I mean, they came to our house. We weren't at theirs. You know what I mean? So, uh, and you know, they seemed really happy to me, really, really happy. And, uh, and really nice people as well. But Brian did have something of a drinking problem. And Brian was out every night. Um, he'd come home from work, have dinner, kiss his wife and kids goodbye, and go to the pub. And he'd be at the pub until closing time, which back then was 11 o'clock. And um, many times, Brian would try to hook up or hook up with a woman in a pub and um, virtually everybody in our small town knew about this except Sue or did she did she know or didn't she know she certainly knew her husband had a drinking problem and came home drunk every night that much was certain now I, to this day, I don't know if she knew, and to this day, I, I don't know if they're together or not now, but the thing is, virtually everybody in town knew about this. The guy was a total philanderer. He probably pulled at least once a week, and uh, that being the case, he didn't have to go around saying, hey, don't tell Sue you know, that you saw me tonight or whatever. He never had to say that to anybody, because in our little small town, People knew when to mind their own business and when not to. They might talk about each other behind closed doors, but they didn't tell Sue. Why do you think that is? Could it possibly have anything to do with the fact that Sue looked and acted like she was really happy and loved Brian? I don't know if she knew. But let me ask you this, viewer. If you were living in my small town, would you have taken it upon yourself to go to Sue's house and knock on the door and say, I don't know how to tell you this, but I saw Brian kissing Melissa last night. 
Would you do that? Would you take that risk of shattering her illusion? She thought she was happy. She thought she had a man that she loved. Maybe she knew and did love him anyway. Maybe she thought, you know what? I love him regardless of the fact that he fools around. But then you come along and drive home the humiliation now that someone acknowledges to you that they know it's ultimately humiliating. And it might change the way you feel about how you decided to live with yourself. This is only one example. And there are many. Uh, I've had friends who were women who have been in domestic, violent, abusive relationships. And they're afraid to leave. They're afraid that if they leave, he might kill them. But it might seem odd, but they are not afraid to have an affair. You know, and can you really blame someone who's literally afraid of their partner, afraid to even try to leave their partner? Can you really blame them when someone wants to show them some affection to make them feel good about themselves? To make them feel like they're not a shit person? Infidelity is not as straightforward as people seem to think. I absolutely agree that it is immoral. I absolutely agree that it would be better to break up with someone before you cheated on them than it is to cheat on them. I absolutely agree with that. If you're not happy in the relationship, you should end it. I absolutely agree with that. If it's to the point where you think you're going to share your body with someone who you're not supposed to, yes, you should have ended it first. You should have. But it's not that fucking simple. People feel trapped. Sometimes people literally are trapped. And then there's the issue, uh, you know, like uh, some of the people on Ashley Madison were gay. And it's entirely likely that their spouse was of the opposite sex and had no idea that they were gay. And it just blows me away that uh, the people who are happy that these people are getting busted are happy because they think their spouse is going to welcome the news. Some people will surely get divorces because of the Ashley Madison leaks. And, you know, I, I just I just don't think these issues are as straightforward and, and clear cut as... Uh, I mean, the morality of cheating is one thing. Um, but being glad, thinking it's a good thing that... Uh, Lives are going to be shattered. Families will be completely destroyed. Even if it is in the long-term better interests of the person who's being cheated on, that short term is going to fucking suck. How dare you celebrate? These people are going to be in pain. It just blows me away how many people are so happy about this. And... I don't know. I, I just... I despair sometimes, people. I really do. At the presumption, and, and just because we all know the difference between right and wrong, doesn't mean we all are always right about everything we do. Every single person watching this video has done things they know they shouldn't have done at some point in their life. And the majority of males watching this video will have cheated on someone at some point in their life. And nearly a majority, something like 40 odd percent of women cheat on someone at some point in their life. So, you know, please climb down. You know, the view up there might be very, very nice and you might feel very nice on your high horse, yeah? But you're still a fucking human being like everybody else. We all make mistakes. We all do things we regret. Oh, that is one more thing I wanted to mention. I know f several people who have been unfaithful to a partner literally once realized how badly they regretted it and then never did that again. Now, let me ask you, should they get busted for what they did? They realized they made a mistake. They realized how much they love their partner and they're never going to do it again because, oh my God, how shit it made them feel. Should that person get found out? This shit is just not black and white. To me, it's, it, it, is, it is every shade of gray out there. 
and there are some people you know who 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 cheat for sport and that is you know truly revolting to me of course and there are some people who cheat because they they actually tell themselves that they can't help themselves and shit like that and you know i've got loads of people in my life I, who i know are in, in unfaithful to their partners and i don't respect it at all i don't really think there's any excuse for it um but there are people rationalizing it everybody who does something they're not supposed to do rationalizes it first it's what you do and i'm not saying it's always okay in fact it's often not okay in fact it's almost always not okay okay when you're but like i say there are circumstances that if you've never been in quite frankly you don't have the right to judge what uh whether or not you would do the same thing in the same circumstance i mean i know plenty of people would say i would never cheat and i've never cheated and you know that was true for me for the first 40 something years of my life um but then I did it, and now I can never say that again. I can never say, I've never cheated ever again, because I did it once. That sucks in its own right, you know. I, 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 had, I, I dishonored myself by doing that. And once you break your honor, you really can't get it back in that same way. So, and I'm aware of that, yeah. But at the same time, I don't think it makes me a bad person because I dishonored myself. I made a huge mistake and I paid a huge price for it. I think, you know, that's the truth. And it's the same when I when I was uh, fooling around with someone else's girlfriend. I made a huge mistake. It was, you know, there was no excuse for it. And I paid an enormous price for that. So, you know, I don't... Uh, I think that... Um, Paying that price is what people are glad about. People people are glad that, you know, if you do something wrong, you should pay a price for it. But sometimes, when you're talking about destroying people's lives, the price is too high to pay. And for strangers to just take it upon themselves, I'm talking about the hackers here, to just, you know, do that, to millions and millions of people to me is borderline evil the amount of pain that this leak is going to cause to me doesn't in any way the, 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 whatever good result can happen by people finding out is completely outweighed by all the pain uh, you know I'm, I'm not necessarily feeling sorry for the um, the victims of this the people who are getting found out I'm not feeling sorry for them as such I more feel sorry for the people who are, you know, having to cope with, you know, what to do about it. Because I don't necessarily think everybody who finds out is going to be glad they found out. A lot of people, for example, will have gone on to Ashley Madison to sort of scope out and seek out, you know, an affair, but then never had one. What about them? Should they lose everything because they were curious? I don't know. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. I could carry on, believe me, but I think I, it's been on too long now. I want to thank you for watching. If you stick to this far, let me know, and um, please feel free to be as candid as you want to be in the comment section. I can take it, and whether that's personal judgments against me or any of the opinions that I've expressed, whatever, I'm up for it. You know, let's have a good conversation. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may the funk be with you always.